this was sent to me by the developer for free for review. That was not paid, and my opinions are my own. Seems to be a pixel art kind of Stardew and Stally Stardew Vired Stardew Valley inspired type deal where you're managing a well a tavern of sorts. So I thought it looked generally pretty cool. I'm generally up for games like this. Quite curious to see how this one is. Oh. Oh, advanced. We can be whatever whatever color we want. I want to be I want to be like a like a zombie or something like that, like a drowned victim. Something. Something like that, a little bit like that. Fairly blue. Nothing too too wild though. Like blind guy, white eyes. Give me my shirt. Just black pants, though. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Alright. Sure, I. Eyelashes? Basically, yes or no? Sure, why not? Fine. Back? Oh, backpack? Oh, uh. Wow. Holy shit. What a, what a tavern keep. Um, yeah, I, I guess a big fucking hammer? That we can change the color of? Drain, it's made of emeralds. It's a really cool hammer. E -T Morning. Morning, Hopsquick. How you doing? Thank you for the sub 10 months. Much appreciated. How you doing today, Hopsquick? What? What are some of these? Like stubble? I don't know what that is, but we'll go with it. It looks like I'm wearing underwear on my head. Perfect. Nice. Some tidy whities wrapped around my head. Uh. A, like a. Uh. A sling? Maybe? It's a, it's a big rock and a sling for if I don't feel like clubbing dudes, we got that done. And a fucking cloak, holy shit. Absolutely. Get like a kind of purpley cloak going. Oh my god. Well, we're looking pretty, pretty fancy. Name? Um... I don't know, I, I guess just Yeti. Feel like a zombie, but you're okay? Yeah, me too, a little bit. I think it's the weather. I don't know. Welcome to Traveler's Rest. This demo allows for two in-game days of playtime. Hope you enjoy it. Yes, I should, I should, I suppose, note there is a demo available. Jeez, I'm good at this. Um, exclamation mark, game. We'll bring you to the Steam page where you can download the, the demo. Two in game days. Hope you enjoy it. The game will soon be in early access, so please remember to wishlist on Steam to support this solo dev project. Sure. And I guess tutorial on, because I don't know what we're doing. WASD shift B or clicked build mode button. Fine. Place items, right click to select. Left click to place. Yeah, yeah sure, so simple enough. R to rotate. Uh, 
over by the fire. Customers need a place to sit. Place the benches as they face the table, of course. Hard to rotate. Right click to edit the inventory. Good to know. <laughs> There's the snaze. Gesundheit. It's confusing. The game is usually the command to change the game through the bot. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay. It seems to work, though. Customers will also expect their table to be well lit in the evening, so placing a candle on the table. Not that table. Or that that light, rather. And I can place it kind of wherever I want. Precariously on the edge there. Perfect. Right-click the book to open stock. Sure, but let me... Storing food here will add it to your bar's stock. While your bar isn't stocked, you will serve gruel. Only rewards a small amount of money and reputation, though. Alright. So it's not like people just starve completely. Got it. Well, we don't have anything. So... Yeah. Press... Zero? O? Or click the close sign to open the tavern, serve some gruel. Sure. We're open! Free gruel for everybody! And we have the quest, apparently. First customers, serve six of them. I get another table, a couple more chairs, and another candle. Cool. First tavern is in. Provide good service and well-kept tavern to earn reputation. Hello, welcome to my tavern. Click the customer to serve them. Oh. Got it. Oh. Oh. Man, like 60 cents per. I wonder if they have gruel? Yeah, we got gruel. Yeah, boy. I can see this maybe getting a little bit wild managing all this, because I assume I have to like pick up their bowls and everything like that then. Perfect. Close up the tavern so you can place new items. Call last orders by pressing O or clicking open sign prevent new customers from entering. Cool. And then click it again to force it to close, but I'll lose reputation, so we should wait for them to leave. Can do. Is, is everything going okay? How was your gruel? Would you like some more gruel? Mm. Place is cleaner than a palace. Table became dirty. Click and hold on the table to clean it. Yeah, yeah. Set up the table. Yeah, yeah. How do exit build mode? Oh, I was in build mode still. Oops. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Um... I don't know, I, I guess just here, sure. It's not the most convenient spot for me for cleaning it and all that, but oh well. Open the tavern, serve new, complete the current quest to unlock the crafting room. Yeah, sure. Balance it there on the edge, no problem. Unlock it found on the north side of the tavern. Uh, 15 silver? Okay, yeah, we need a lot more silver. Got it. Bedroom sleep at the bed of save. Stay too late, I'll pass out. Sure, yeah. And it seemed like it had a few Stardew Valley type things, like a, like a sleep system in it. I think there was like farming and all that. I think you can leave the tavern and like go around the town and all that. 
and everything. Outside the tavern, you'll find a post box in order to, to order in supplies and the delivery box. Notice where to accept older quests and higher staff. Accept order quests and higher staff. A well to collect water farming area to the north. There, there seems to be a bit going on with it. Click an item to add it to the basket or shift click to add 10. Items will appear in the delivering box outside the tavern in three hours. Right. A whole lot of stuff. Like a lot of a lot of stuff. So we'd probably be wanting to do the filters because scrolling through that's a little bit of a problem. Every five days, random ingredients will be able to order marked with a star. Specific must be farmed through each farming tech tree. Okay. So like the chili is just a temporary thing. Got it, got it. Oh fuck, I'll buy a raw fish. One raw fish. logs and stuff I, I don't i don't know why mushrooms can't can't really do anything with that it seems oh, yeah search bar too yeah if you know what you're after sure but if you're just looking if you're just looking just to see what all there is though you don't know what you want a bucket for that It seems like the cursor's location doesn't really line up at all with anything that I'm actually looting. Mm. Nothing that way. Is this just decorative? Tech XP inventory calendar. Tech wise, need reputation one for that. All right. Calendar for important events. Not a whole lot going on yet. Tavern vision. Oh. Okay. And that's the farm up there that we unlocked later on. Sure. Okay, so back in. We'll open up. I uh, could have checked what's upstairs. We should check upstairs later on. F ah. Hello, Proof for Alga. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? EDF indeed. One of the customers has dirtied my floor. What a son bitch. Press Y or click on Tavern Vision to highlight the dirt. I'm okay. Thank you for the sub, Proof for Alga. Welcome, welcome. Ten months. Ten months, Drake. Many thanks. Highlight important objects like dirty tables, floor dirt, and important customers. Equip the mop and click the stain. Mop three, got it. Oh, way over there. <laughs> awesome. Well, and what's that? Like, dude just pissed himself or something. Okay. Getting it. Getting it. They should be finished eating pretty soon, so we'll have to clean up the table. bowls served. We got two kegs now, watered down booze, and 20 porridge that we could uh, throw into the stock. Serve porridge and grog. Right click the book and add the porridge to stock. Inventory can do that while open. Okay. 
Oh, the table's filthy. And dude's wanting seconds up there. This table's getting gross. Give me a minute. Fucking hell. All right, sure. <laughs> Staring at them. <laughs> Is the food, the food color indicate anything? Like if it's full or an empty bowl or so? Is that what it's getting at? All well, these people want seconds. Serve you two. Five bowls of porridge served. There's an old doormat. Help keep the floor clean. And we can now unlock the craft room because we got enough money. But business is booming so far today. Like, holy shit. I wonder if the time of day has much to do with it. It's like 2 p.m. So it should be getting kind of quiet then, technically. Oh, God. Let me clean that. Clean that. Serve that. Clean... Somebody pissed on the fireplace, clean that, it pissed over here. Clean that, build mode. Place that down. Shit, they love their porridge and gruel. So I can see why I'd want to hire people. I'm assuming you can hire, like, a bar dude to handle, like, the drinks or something like that. Um, maybe hire, like, a table cleaner guy and, like, a mopping guy or something like that. We'll say closed for now. Let these guys finish up so we can do the crafting room and all that. Shit. They're all so happy! Reputation milestone! Each milestone unlocks new items and mechanics. View these by clicking the arrow under the reputation bar. Is that... Bringing, brewing and cooking tech trees are open. Next up, farming and carpentry tech trees. And then character upgrades. Alright, sure. Tech trees how we learn new recipes. It's each tech costs skill points, which can be earned from crafting. Skill points are split into physical, nature, and mental. The three bars in the bottom left of the screen indicate your progress toward the next skill point. Okay, so those are something there. Physical, nature, mental. Okay. And this is gonna be a little bit like Graveyard Keeper or something like that. We got the three different research resources that you're having to balance. The issue I had with the Graveyard Keeper, though, was that it became so much that, like, you just have to pick up all the things ever and look at all the things ever to get enough points to eventually be able to do anything. Um, it was really grindy at the start. But Mild Ale Talent. There's also the Porridge Talent. We can turn that into soup. And then Bread or Roasting. Alright, sure. Farming stuff and social magic, that's that's coming soon. Alright. Um Yeah, I I don't have any yet, so noted. We can unlock the crafting though. Let me check upstairs first real quick, actually, before I forget again. Renting rooms coming soon. Okay, perfect. Fifteen silver to clear that. So now we got a bit of barley and water. We can make barley tea. Make some porridge. Right click the oven to open up the crafting menu. Each crafter has a list of recipes. These show the required ingredients, fuel, and time. Click the name to begin. Not enough fuel. 
Put the log, add fuel. One log is five fuel. Or a stick is just one. Well, I got a bunch of logs. I shouldn't need to... Yeah, I don't need to buy it. Oh, and we have ten fuel. So we can make five things of porridge with the five water now. Some recipes can be modified. Allows extra ingredients to be added. Some recipes have mandatory modifiers. So for Rick's and we should to view these. Alright, sure. Porridge requires grain. Try dragging the barley from inventory to one of these slots. It'll create barley porridge. Right. Okay. So there's that. And like, water? No. A stick? No. A log? No. Okay. Pretty basic. Each recipe takes time to craft. Once the timer's full, click the crafter to collect the items. It'll only take a few seconds. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yeah. Minus, minus like a couple hundred thousand years or so that was. Nice. Collected. That's a malt house now for 50 gold coins that costs to buy it. Wow. We just got one for free. Sure. Um, oops. Some items increase comfort. Multiple will diminish the effect, though. Greater comfort will keep people happy. Sure, yeah. Makes sense. Can't rotate it on the side, so we'll just throw it there, I suppose. Leave build mode. Open this. Make some more porridge. Malt barley. Needs a bit of fuel. Malting takes a while. Right-click the crafter to view how long the current recipe will take and reopen the tavern and serve porridge while I wait. Sure, yeah, that'll take a couple hours. Okay. Fine. Alright. Um, well, get some more of this going, because may as well. And then we've got, like, plenty on hand for whatever. Like, holy shit. That'd be so much. Right click the beer tap and add the keg of grog to the slot. Oh, uh. I don't have kegs of grog anymore. I threw those into the inventory. How about some water on tap? Hmm. Yeah. Just to confirm, that's not done yet. Yeah, no. Right? Tap water. The water on tap, 20 cents? Tavern has become cold. Use the fireplace to keep it at a perfect temperature. Ah, uh, no! There. Plenty. Perfect temp, 55 comfort, perfect cleanliness. Let's go! Bang. So far, so good. I'm not sure why I would ever want the tavern vision off. I don't I don't see a benefit to having that ever off. May as well just be on all the time. Because I can still do normal things with tavern vision off. And it just allows me to see where the uh, stuff is a lot easier.
Gonna need some more tables soon, jeez. Clean that up. Run over here, serve them quick. Serve you too, fine. Clean the tables, oh god. And now it's just a matter of keeping these people fed because they're going to be one like seconds and everything like that. At least I don't have to worry about people um, like I don't know, I guess like over here or something like that. We'll see how that goes. I guess I can't anymore. What? Exit build mode. Exit build mode. Can't move those. Yeah, that. Put that away. Exit build mode. Put that down real quick. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I get left click and right click mixed up sometimes because it's like right click to open things and such but I'm a little bit used to right click being just like the general interact button fucking so dirty mode left click and yeah, no I can't place that at all because the tavern's open I guess I that I'm able to move it clean these periodically even though they're not dirty you can still clean them a little bit ahead of time just to keep them keep them in good shape Cursor position of stuff is a bit strange. I don't really get any error messages that often if I'm like clicking something wrong. Like that, that's a good thing there, that I must be behind the bar. But sometimes, sometimes like I'll be clicking a mess here, but I'm not like on its level quite yet, and I can't go diagonally and clean it apparently. Um, placing the doormat doesn't seem to have an error message when I can't do that. I like the potential and the speech bubbles and stuff that pop up. There was a game that I saw, I think, Pinter streaming on Discord a while back that was like a 2D type thing. And it was interesting because you'd have a bunch of conversations from people popping up. Um, and they would just kind of fade away after a while. So like you enter a room full of people and they all have their own like little conversation text boxes going on. That would eventually um, just fade away. So you yourself have to actually pay attention to the conversations, which is a really cool thing. And I could kind of see this maybe doing something like that as well. If these people are actually talking about something that matters, maybe like the one dude just saw something wild coming around here. So maybe like that'd be something outdoors that I could maybe go and get some point in time. But if I'm too busy serving everybody you're cleaning, I may miss that conversation completely. Could be kind of cool. Um, farm and carpentry tech trees are now open because we're a hovel. Nice. Hell yes. This, this is still early access, yeah. Uh, early access is available soon, though you can download the demo right now and you can play basically what I'm playing, which is just like the first couple days as far as I know. So now build mode. There we go. And yeah, now, now it's okay. Maybe I was trying to put it too close to the wall. See, like, times like this, there's no error message or anything like that, so I don't know if I'm, uh... Like, it says place on the left, pick up on the right, that relates to the mouse button, so it's the, not the most clear ever, though. I feel like there's better ways to do that. Um... I was sort of thinking, like, I put these doormats, like, nearby me a little bit. But I can't put it there. There's actually a, a lot of places I can't really put this. I don't know. 
it doesn't rotate at all. Well, I guess just down by the door is kind of the best spot we've got for now. Yeah, an icon next to the text, yeah, with the left to right mouse button. Yep. That's generally the way to do that. Uh, okay, yeah, let's move these a little bit more centered, somewhat, to a degree. Does this actually affect the number at all there? Comfort? I was like, no, we can put it We can put it on the chair, which is pretty cool. We're about to pass out, get to bed before 3 a.m. Oh, shit. Okay, um... Build mode open. Turn off the fire. Quickly run up here. Collect that. A, a mash ton. Some hops and water. Create wort by boiling grains. Place the mash ton and create some mild wort. Go kind of quick with this though. Malted barley. We need one more water though, and a bunch of fuel. Okay. Um, let me... Because at least fuel is easy to get the water. There's a well like right outside that I can... Uh, I can get some more stuff in. You're not bitter? <laughs> no, different, different hops. Click a save to override, create a new one. Please keep multiple saves during early access to avoid losing progress. Fair, fair. Being able to name the save would be great. And since we slept, I'm assuming... Yeah, you're super duper done. No problem. Consider stocking up for the day. Need more locks for crafting fireplace. The post box outside to order in supplies. Yeah, yeah. There should be a nice rotten fish out there for me. I was only supposed to take three hours. There it is. One, one raw fish. Tavern reputation seven for people. Yeah, there's a bartender. I'm not sure. Clears and cleans tables though, but not the floor. Nice. Um, I collect water. It's just a click spam, no problem. I would like more tables, single table. Get rid of the books. Single table, 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 small table. I guess small table. And bench, small bench. I can't afford that. Fuck. Okay, that's fine. Maybe, maybe later. Um, because I don't really want like the super small table. I already got wood for that. It's just a matter of like finding crafting stuff. I think. Let's open you up again. Here's your fuel. There's your fuel. Get more of that going on. Porridge? I think we've got plenty of porridge. I don't think we have to worry about more porridge. Oh, actually, yeah, they went they went through a pretty good amount. Eh, make some more porridge. I mean, you make them in stacks at 20, so... Not really a problem. Oh, some fish porridge. That'd be yummy, right? People like fish porridge, I'm sure. Serve five mugs of grog for five snail eggs? Um, and boiling some mild wort. Right. And I can't put hops up there. Just barley. That's fine. We could maybe order some more barley. Or maybe experiment with some other stuff too. Like, head more? Or something? That's still going to be about an hour, or like a minute in real time. Same with you. 
All right. Well, we can open up the uh, tavern for a little bit. Clean that spot. So let me try this again. No, yeah, I, I totally can. I'm gonna throw it up there though. See if that helps any, because then it's a little more accessible for me. Maybe they maybe they pee on that instead of just the random floor. Clean. <laughs> they seem to just pee before they get next to it. What the fuck? Dirty people, man. I clawing at the ground. They're pissing everywhere, dropping lice. My poor floors. Get a quick wipe down, grab that along the way, serve this guy, clean up their lice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's constant, man. I like the activity of it, though. I like the engagement generally. I like that there's... Um, the UI is a, a little bit cluttered, but it seems generally okay. Like, I can minimize that. Um, I mean, it's it's all a bit... It's all a bit big, the UI a little bit, but it's not that bad. I think my biggest issues with this currently is the... Um, like general just clicking accuracy and all that stuff like it's hard to know if I'm out of reach of something or not typically you'd have a um, like it's got clean with a little mouse pointer there if I'm out of range of it or whatever typically you'd have like that grayed out or something so it's more of a visual indication that hey you can't quite do that yet rather than just leading me to believe that I totally could but just like it's not really going through for whatever reason I think, oddly, I think that's, like, the only issue that I've really got. Okay, and I think we'll close up, because I think my stuff in the back room's... ...done? Yeah, definitely done. Fermentation! Fermentation tank creates a mild ale. You can add modifiers like fruit and give beer a custom name. You can order in stockies in the post box outside. Well. Yeah, alright, give me a minute. Can I throw it out here? Alright, we gotta be closed proper first. I like that it can run into the back room and just like keep making stuff. I like that. I assume stuff still happens out here while I'm back there. So that's another cool reason to have employees running around. Oh, bit of experience floating in. Oh. All right, was this able to be out here? It can be out here. Well, that's nice. I mean, that that could save me a trip. It's like bam, beer, like. Right here, too. That's the most convenient thing ever. Mild wort, the ale yeast, and an empty keg. Requires no fuel, but takes six hours to do. Holy shit. Um. <laughs> it's very hoppy and bitter. With bitter hops, bitter hops, bitter hops, bitter hops, bitter hops, bitter hops. <laughs> Just, I'll throw some extra, it'll be extra hoppy. Oh shit. Cancel. No, cancel. How do... 
How do you name? Ah. Mild ale. Hoppin. Hopper. I don't know. Something like that. Look at that. Custom naming. Whoa. So that'll be done to like 8.30 or something like that. Alright, stock looking... Looks okay, 51 of it. Sure. Can't throw the fish in there at all. Alright. Um... I ordered... Yeah, some more stuff. Ugh. Hello, Lucasette. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you. Mm. I mean, now I could order tables, but... It's, a, like, a little bit late, I think. Like, a proper table. I can order a proper bench with it, just the one. But you know what? That's better than nothing. Yeah, the one pretty okay, Luke. Is that not bad? Not bad at all. Yeah, I guess we could like reopen. We don't have a whole whole lot going on. We're just mostly waiting for stuff. May as well serve some. Uh, hmm. Porridge was it? Yeah, porridge. Looking forward to a pint of porridge. Hey. What kind of game is it today? Taking a look at, um... What was it called? Traveler's Rest, I believe? There's a demo of it available on Steam if you use the game command. Or you can play it through the first couple days. Early access is opening up generally pretty soon. It seems quite okay, though. It's like, um... It's like Stardew Valley, but more focused around just, like, maintaining a tavern. There's an outdoors area, there's, like, a town that you can walk around, and you can do a bunch of farming, and there's a whole crafting system that goes on in the back room. Um... Seems quite okay. I have minor concerns about what the late game could be like, where it's mostly just, like, you have your employees run around, do all the bitch work and menial, menial tasks while you're doing a lot of the crafting and everything, but... Um, I, I can't help but wonder what technically stops you from just sitting here serving gruel all the time always. Like, you don't get as much reputation and money serving that, but you do get a bit, so you could technically just sit here forever doing that until you pass out tired. I think to counter that, you would have people coming in with specific wants. Like, you build a, uh... Build, like, a catalog of what you're offering and all that. And people just come in and order off of that catalog. So even if I didn't have, like... if Even if I didn't have porridge, they know that we do serve porridge here, though, because it'd be on my catalog. That they, they would then just ask for porridge, but since I don't have any, I wouldn't be able to fulfill it. Therefore, I would take, presumably, a negative reputation loss, and they'd leave. So it gets to the point where if you're not keeping up with your general stuff, like you could serve gruel the entire time if you wanted to, but then if like you ever wanted to advance or anything like that, you had stuff to catalog to try to get more reputation. And you'd be kind of forced to keep a, uh, a mix of stuff going on then. Or heck, it could even be as simple as just like if you're only serving gruel, like it only gets you reputation to a certain point. Like, after Reputation 3, Gruel will no longer give you any rep. Could even be as simple as that. Generally, though, it seems quite okay. Am I allowed to step outside quick? Because I think my mail has arrived. Yeah, yeah. But this is large stuff that I have to close down for. So we'll stay open a little bit longer, because we're still also waiting for that to finish up in a minute 20.
place is frigid. Oh shit. My bad. Oh. Rep limit depending on the variety you serve makes sense. Yeah, I think that'd be the easiest way to do it. Because then that way you don't have to manage like a whole bunch of like recipes into catalog or something like that. Because that would turn into a bit of a ball like all on its own. I think just, yeah, certain reputation limits. Like gruel just gets you to reputation two, maybe three or something like that. But then past that, it's like it no longer does anything for you. If you want to be a little bit meaner about it, you could also have people making requests based on uh, reputation. After a certain reputation, they just stop wanting rule. And they'll just show up and be like, man, I'm sure I'm thirsty for some, you know, not gruel. But because gruel is all you've got, they just be like, all right, well, fuck it and leave. Customers being rowdy or out row. Click on them, try to calm them down. Rowdy customer will upset nearby customers. Holy shit, sir, calm the fuck down. They became a nuisance. They'll annoy everyone around them. Hit them with the mop to kick them out of the tavern. Oi. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Show. <laughs> quick, quick clean, can't clean. Serve. Serve. Collect that. Congratulations. You have brewed your first beer. Press T to view tech trees and learn new recipes. Sure. Serve. Grab the beer. Clean the thing. Ah. Uh. Uh, the floor's not getting as dirty nowadays. So we will open that and put that on tap. The requested beer. Man, straight away. Click and hold on the beer tap to create a beer and click the customer. Oh, all right. There we go. Oops. I'd also need to remember what I've got in which one, it seems. Because they just show up and are like, hey, I want I want the beer with hops in it. Be like, oh, yeah, the hop one. That's the red one. Oops. Oops. Ugh. How much more do we have in there? Oh god, a lot. So much of it. Okay. Then I'm gonna do last call stuff, because I want to get this table down. Because I'm pretty sure I can't do that while we're, uh... open because it's like it's a big thing yeah no tavern has to be closed probably also check our porridge stocks because holy shit only 13 porridge left man oh man we're done another one of those you can have this candle. I always want to just like drag it. There. Ah. You know, that mess. Run into the back quick. We'll make a little bit more barley. Or porridge, rather. Tech tree stuff. Brew porter, dark wort, dark mar malt, barley, brew mead. A lot of, lot of stuff there. Go for some soup. I don't know how many points I have. Oh, up there it was. I see. Oops. Okay, well, uh, we know how to do bread and soup now, so that's kind of cool. Not that we can actually 
probably make any of that. Although, soup. Pop soup. Barley soup. Just everything's barley. Oh, mandatory requirements. What else do we got? Oh, yeah, veg and meat. Yeah, okay. That's fair. And it is getting super duper late, so we're gonna have to, uh... Bed soon. It's too late to open. Mwah. Alright, well... We sleep, and I think that's the end of the demo? Cat! Nah. Your two days are up! This is the end of the Traveler's Rust demo. There's still a lot to explore, such as tavern events, important visitors, hiring staff, renting rooms, and more. So please remember to wishlist on Steam to support the solo dev project. Thank you for playing. Yeah, wow. Um, that's quite good. I don't have a whole lot of complaints for it, honestly. Um, just the, the clicking, the left click, right click is just something that I think I might have to get used to, but there's generally not a lot of feedback with, like, something's out of range or, um, you know, anything like that. Yeah, really solid start. I would definitely be interested in checking out some more of this. This was, this was quite nice. It's like Stardew Valley, but more of a focus on shopkeep management, which I really like, because I generally like games like Moonlighter and Reketeer, where it's just like shop management and all that. Um, the benefit of those is you also have a bit of combat going on, so you can still like go in and you get stuff, and you have to weigh whether or not you want to use the stuff for yourself to make future runs easier, or if you sell the stuff for a lot of money. Sort of just depends. So that's why I really like those games, but this seems quite okay too. Good stuff. Cat stops you from going to work seems realistic. Well, yeah, I mean, if it lays... It's... You're telling me if a cat lays on your stomach in bed or on your chest or something like that, you're not going to just shove the cat away to get out of bed. Oh, fuck no. You call in sick. Man. Nah, really good, though. I, I recommend it. I don't know anything about the price point of it. Um, I'm not sure. I don't even know when early access is officially happening. It just says generally soon. Again, exclamation mark game. For the Steam link there, there is a demo. You can also play what I have just played there. And you can mess around with it yourself. Really good start. I, I don't really have any major complaints. I, I think the only actual major complaint that I could potentially have is um, why serve something other than Gruul? Because as it is now, I feel like you could just like... If we were to go into day two here. We'll just take the porridge out. We could just... We could just open up. I mean, we don't make a lot of money. Which means that I can't really expand upon my tavern, but we do make... Some money. I don't... I, I don't I don't know like I guess I guess at some point like you just I, I suppose the player themselves would just get bored of doing this eventually and want more so they'd, they'd be more inclined to then go and get more like if you want to do this you totally could but I suppose it's up to the player because as opposed to the research train all that you wouldn't be getting just serving gruel you wouldn't really be getting any of the um Research points. Yeah, just like have fun and save some, save up for some tables. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the tables are a bit expensive, though, is the thing. So it would absolutely be faster for you to at least serve some fucking porridge. So th there is that. If I had to price this game, I mean, in its current state, like, there's, like, the farming's not in or anything like So in its current state, like, two bucks or something like that. But if you get farming in, and recipes for that, and a town to explore a little bit, like, maybe a shop to go to or something like that, if you wanted to, so you're not just always ordering from a catalog. How, uh, how the hell? Um, why not? If you, 
if there was just the farming so I could plant my own seeds and water them and if like that and then like be separate from the catalog a little bit, even if there's no town to explore and no NPCs to talk to or communicate with or anything, like if there's this was the game, I would say you could probably get away with charging like seven bucks for it. Um, and just like its current state refined a bit, you could probably get seven bucks for it. If you were to add in a town that you could explore, special NPCs to talk to and all that kind of stuff, um, the hiring of NPCs and all that, the rooms to rent out. Yeah, you're probably looking at closer to 10 or 15 buck game. Just curious if I just ignore the messes, just how bad it gets here. It's just so filthy. <laughs> was it only minus three? I, I didn't quite see what the number was. Because we get like a hundred rep for a positive experience. It was pretty high. You didn't get the Thormat out of there. I'm digging it though. I like it a lot. It's uh it's a really really fine start. <laughs> the tip of music is dirty with the mess I made all Yeah, they just Yeah. And the floor is all just covered in piss stains and everything like that. And yeah, the reps are really starting to plummet now. It's getting pretty bad. I think those were just warning shots before with a minus three rep. It's just straight up filthy. I don't think this is gonna get any lower right now. Yeah, oofed minus hundreds. Yeah, for sure. Customer being rowdy. That's fine. Leave him be. <laughs> I wouldn't let me dog drink in here. <laughs> oh come on, it's not that bad. I'm still making money. There's still people showing up. Some of them are still even wanting seconds. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's a horrible experience, but we can't be demoted with reputation at all. It's not like we could be just like a really like, yeah, no, don't go there. Um, I give this place zero olive branches out of 10 or something like that. Avoid at all costs. Which would be maybe kind of a cool thing, where if your place just gets known for being a filthy pigsty or something like that, it just negative effects, negatively affects your reputation. To where you maybe get less people showing up. Or heck, maybe it even, maybe it even bring in specific types of people. Like, I know Reketeer had a system like that, like depending on the atmosphere that you had for your place, the walls and general layout that you had set up and the items that you had advertised at the front window, all that, brought in certain NPCs that you may or may not actually want because they're better than just normal types. So if you wanted to like really get deep with that, you with this, you, you could go for that as well. It's like if you just have a reputation of being just some filthy pigsty. Remove the candles, there you go. Uh... Get rid of, get rid of all this shit. Everyone's gotta be close for that. Everybody fuck out of here. Shoot. <laughs> get the window out of here. The taps I can't move at all. So we have zero comfort currently. We're open. It's effectively a jail cell. Actually, no, we're close again. Sorry, fuck off. I want to build mode. I can't move the table because it's dirty, huh? All right, that's fine. I was going to see about putting 
I don't want you. Going to see about putting the... Uh... Okay, listen here, shelf. Putting the tables in a slightly more convenient spot. But oh well. Okay. We're open again. Zero comfort. We'll still probably like flood in, though. It's a good balance, though, of um, you managing a few different things. Like, currently I'm serving and cleaning and tending to the customers, and I got also crafting going on in the back room. I'd like to think that when you rent out the rooms, you also have to go in there and, like, take care of the bed. Make the sheets and all that and dust up any sort of mess. Maybe pick up some leftover things that are here and there a little bit. So you're going to be doing some cleaning away from the tavern itself. So you want to make sure you definitely have employees for doing that. So I can see a few different levels of complexity going on there with all of it. As it slowly just turns into more and more of a, a hectic fuck fest as you're trying to manage the four different types of beers or whatever that you've got on the um, on tap and all that. Yeah, they don't seem to mind it too much. I mean, as we get like closer to nighttime, technically, would you go away, shelf? Man, I think it's because I had the shelf selected, so like just clicking, yeah, clicking anywhere kind of brings that out. <laughs> Nah, work out though. I don't really have any major faults for it at all whatsoever. I'm really curious what the price point's going to be. I think the demo is a really cool thing to check out and mess around with if you're interested. Um, I think I think we'll leave it here though. Can you have soup on tap? I don't I don't think so. That'd be interesting though. <laughs> why why check a note all plays and you just like pull a lever and it comes gooping out of a faucet? <laughs> uh <laughs> what? Good, though. Really good. A tavern... tavern brothel type thing going on? Oh, maybe. I mean, maybe. It could be that you end up hiring, uh... You know, hire on some escorts or something like that. I mean... Who knows? Well, I think the tavern can manage itself. Um... We'll figure it out. Can actually see people go in. That's really nice. And also leave. That's a really nice touch. A future DLC. Yeah, maybe maybe a mod or something like that. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I think all these places were yeah, all these places are off limits. I'm not sure what they'll be. I'm a Assuming we could explore a town at some point in time, but it could be that these are just like spawn areas for dudes to come in and uh, and all that. But up north will be the farm where we can then plant the stuff and we can order seeds through the mailbox system and just plant our own stuff. So we got a garden to tend to during the day as well. And Yeah. The game's so clunky. I don't think it's that clunky, though. I, th I think it's pretty okay. I quite like that I've just left the tavern, it's just managing itself at this point. I, I hear all sorts of horrible sounds going on. Oofed. Oofed. <sighs> it's looking pretty bad in there. We're closed, everybody fuck out of here. And there they come, there they come pouring out. They remember who's upset and everything. That's really nice, I like that. That's a really cool touch. What an absolute sty, man. That's good. Yeah, um, again, the game command will bring you to the Steam link for it if you're interested in checking it out. This was sent to me by the developer for free, but I was not paid. My opinions are my own, and I think it's a pretty great start. It's something that could be really quite fun. Um, yeah, really no major complaints at all whatsoever. I, I look forward to eventually checking out some more. Um. 
there's actually no there's art there's actually no menu button <laughs> actually no can we like build mode move my bed we can move my chest I think that threw itself into my inventory but we can do that I'm assuming we can also just like move this stuff out front that's currently crafting. Grab what it's got. I cannot move my bed though. Everything but the bed. And I'm assuming I can throw just all this out. Out here. The fireplace obviously needs to be against a wall of some form. Okay. Um, never mind that. Fine. These, I feel like these aren't actually arrows. I'll see them to right, bring that out. It doesn't quite fit in there. Moving stuff from the inventory is a bit of a trick. There you go. Nice window there. Oven, throw these away. Throw that away, the shelf away. The sickle and spade. I never did sickle and spade stuff outside. But like, yeah, I could totally just throw stuff out here too, which is great. It's quite nice. I could just do everything out here, basically. But obviously it removes the, uh... Um... You know, floor space for tables and all that to be. Guys, that was really dirty. Because while I can probably put these back here, I feel like customers won't come back here. That'd be super cool if they did, though. Oh my god, I mean, really, just buy a new table at this point. This is so dirty. Comfort level of the stuff um, doesn't seem to be affecting it at all. It's still 35. The half window oddly doesn't do a whole lot. That window's a pretty big one, though. 25. The mat's another 10. It probably should. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I guess the balance is, though, that you wouldn't be able to put tables out there because you got all the crafting stuff going around. I mean, if you want, like, a crazy crazy all-over-the-place uh, tavern, then so be it, you know? We'll just, we'll just see real quick. And no available seating. Okay. Doesn't count to have those back there. Worth a shot. <laughs> Ah, yeah, real good, though. Um, oh, no, there is an escape menu now. Apparently. I don't know. Key bindings are all a little bit strange. The proper tavern lets you reach the bar from the bed. There you go. That's an idea. I don't know, I kind of like just having, like, you know, like the soup kettle thing going on right next to the table. The, the entire, like, you know, vat that we're brewing stuff in and aging things in. It's like scoop, scoop your hand in there, grab what you want. It's fine. We'll charge you. We'll charge you at the door. That's how we run it. I think we'll leave it here, though. There's not a whole lot more to explore in this, I believe. Well, no, well, there's still technically, like, I guess a spade and... And sickle. I don't know if these really do a whole lot right now. I mean, water with the buckets. There's not that I can really. Nothing I can really spade or sickle. But I'd assume down the road there'd be wild stuff that you can harvest with these tools and all that, so you can save yourself a bit of trouble from ordering it all the time from the catalog. Good though. Really good. Not, not a whole lot to complain about. 
looking for it tomorrow.